Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and on this beautiful autumnal day, very mild as well, we are doing a walk around video on this freshly arrived Swift Bolero 680F. B. Now first of all do excuse the uh, road noise, we are very conveniently located right next to the South Devon Expressway um, just south of Exeter so we're very easy to get to but it does make it a bit noisy down this part of the forecourt. Um, just going back to the van, this is a 2011 Swift Bolero 680 FB which is a very very popular model, it's a very very good looking van as well as you can see and um, big big bonus with this one, it is a super rare automatic which you very rarely see so let's have a look at the uh, the window sheet here so this one's uh, just arrived from our somerset branch so she's a bolero 680 fb she's got a fixed side bed it's uh, four berths but only two seat belts because it's got the side sofas three and a half tons so anybody can drive it based on the fiat ducato like everything else um, this one is a three liter automatic six speed auto done 62,000 miles just over seven meters long 2.33 wide and it's a low line 2.77 high and uh, it's priced at 37.95 and we think it will sell very quickly at that because it is an automatic. Now at the time to get an automatic gearbox you had to pay an extra couple of thousand for the auto box and you had to pay an extra couple of thousand to upgrade to the 3 litre engine because they didn't do it with the 2.3 and both of those things uh, meant that automatics of this era are quite rare because of the price and very very desirable things. Now the Bolero range came out in 2007 was massively ahead of its time uh, don't tend to lose a lot of money at all really really good news and one of the reasons for that is they look so modern so you can see you've got your really nice silvery colored two-tone sides smart wheel trims paintwork and the van as a whole is in excellent condition on this one um, have a little walk around the outside there we've got 16 inch wheels 15 inch wheels one or the other with good tires on it we've got the colored sides factory fitted built in wind out Four meter, maybe three and a half meter Fiamma in um, double locked, centrally locked uh, habitation door, fridge vent for your big fridge freezer, LED awning light. This is the newer generation of uh, Boleros, so you'll see a lot of 07s and 08s. Don't see so many of this sort of age and don't see so many autos, so she's quite good news in that way. We've got a flue there for your Truma gas and electric blown air heating system, double glazed motone windows all round big underbed storage locker back here that's underneath your side bed obviously it's a low bed in these it's what they call a French bed um, so you're not getting a full height garage but you've got quite a commodious storage space there for all of your chairs and bits and bobs going around to the back we've got a two bike bike rack you could extend that to be three or four if you preferred we've got a uh, factory fitted reversing camera bodywork conditions very good again not a new van but she's all in good order this going on on the back got some, some light stain in there that might polish out but no actual damage or anything like that which is good take for cassette toilet locker there mains hook up gas locker for two color gas bottles double glazed windows again on the side and we've got another storage locker which gives you access underneath your side sofa underneath of there are your leisure battery or leisure batteries there's room for two Fresh water fill up point, you've got underslung 100 litre fresh and waste water tanks and there's this little uh, two pin uh, socket there so if you want to get a submersible pump for sucking water aboard you can do that instead of uh, taking it to a tap. Having a little look at the cab here, so we've got mirror guards on the wing mirrors to uh, defend them, we've got some cassette cab lines there and front windscreen blind to go with it. We've got a uh, reversing camera, which we saw on the back. Cab air conditioning, cruise control, leather gear stick and steering wheel, which is really, really nice. And uh, all in very good order, very fresh. We've also got this really nice suede Alcantara upholstery, which just makes the whole van very, very light, very, very modern inside. And nice panoramic roof light up there as well. So uh, yeah, she's a real good egg in that way. So. A little walk around the front, it's been abroad, it's got some headlight deflectors on it at some time. It's a paintwork, there's no flaky bits of paint or anything like that. But there we start some just there, we could touch that up. Um, but yeah, all in very good condition. So let's have a little walk inside the van. So coming in through the habitation door, we've got a bin in the habitation door. We've got 
fly screen as well. We've got these tailor-made uh, loose fit carpets. And then we come straight into what is a very British take on the fixed bed. So we've got a comfortable, very comfortable in this van, twin sofa front lounge. I'll just pull the door to there, drop the noise down a bit. So you can see this is one of the many reasons people buy Bolero 680 FBs and that is this lovely, lovely comfortable lounge. So you've got soft, comfortable suede velour Alcantara style upholstery. Um, neutral coloured curtains, uh, nice two-tone sort of feel to it. We've got the silver accents uh, on the mid-wood cabinet work, all in good order. Cab seats, it's done 60 or 1,000 miles, but you wouldn't know it's in really, really good condition. Very fresh, smells nice, no evidence of dogs, or certainly definitely not any evidence of smokers either. So this area makes a double bed for guests, or if you want a bed each, because you've got a fixed bed back there, you can make this into a double bed simply by sliding it across, or bring your cab seats all the way around to join up, and you can use them as, as two singles, that side being a bit on the shorter side over there. Looking back down the van, there's storage underneath of this bit here, and then we've got a nice L-shaped kitchen, which is something the British do much better than the Europeans. So this is very much the uh, fixed bed van for British tastes. So we've got loads and loads of deep storage inside of here. These used to have a carousel. Oh, this one still does have the carousel. I, I kind of like that, so you can access your storage nice and easy and play Wheel of Fortune. You've got your original clip-on chopping board and draining board up there for the sink, which is nice to see those things still with a van as well. A couple of plug sockets up there for your kettle. All the windows have got these concertina style blinds which are followed by the fly screens which are very very quiet on the road, they don't rattle. Being a British fan you've got this big Thetford oven. So this has uh, got the shiny metal trim which doesn't tend to suffer from the heat damage like the earlier silver ones did and it's two-tone silver and black and we've got nice thick metal pot rack, three gas burners, one electric, separate grill, separate oven and then above that We've got your microwave up top there as well, which you'll only ever see in the English vans. And then another really deep cupboard alongside of it. So, really good kitchen. Opposite the kitchen, conveniently located, is a big fridge freezer. It's a Thetford fridge freezer, which is an automatic energy selecting one. It's got a sticky catch. That's your fridge. And then your big freezer on top of that. Automatic energy selecting means it will self sync the best power source that will run off mains if you're hooked up, gas if you're not, and it will switch to the engine when you're driving. Control panel above the door there, which tells you all your gauges and levels, switches your lights on and off. Heating for your Truma blown air, gas and electric, heating and hot water. I personally have been away in these vans um, absolutely loads of times. So over the years, I've been selling motorhomes for well, nearly 20 years now. And I've always been able to borrow the stock and my weapon of choice for a long time was were these Bolero 680 FBs or their badge engineered Bessicar and Ace compatriots and um, I found myself away in minus 12 degree temperatures once which is about as cold as I've been in a motorhome and I was cosy thanks to my uh, Truma gas and electric heating system they are actually despite being British they are really really warm vans so looking at the bedroom area of the van You've got a big fixed bed, it's a side bed, French bed as they call it, uh, and that saves space basically, and that's why you can fit in your nice kitchen, your nice lounge, it saves a lot, a lot of room basically. Um, so, underneath your fixed bed, you've got, with a really good mattress as well actually, I and mean, this mattress is mint, proper sprung mattress, and you wouldn't think that's original, I think it is original actually, but you wouldn't know it because it's in spot on condition. Your heating system's underneath the foot of the bed, then you've got storage there. You've got a freestanding table which can go in your lounge or can go outside. You've got a concertina blind there which will come across to separate the bedroom area so you can use it as a, uh, a dressing area or have a bit of privacy. Skylight and a big opening side window. Three big cupboards for clothes. Your TV, this is my bugbear this, I don't know why people always do this, is they fit TVs to um, vans and then they take the bracket off instead of the um, taking the TV off the bracket they take the whole bracket off so we're going to fit an original spec project 2000 slide out bracket here which will simply slide out face the front of the van or you can face it towards the bedroom as you prefer and there's a roof mounted TV aerial there's also a roof mounted solar panel as well wardrobe is excellent you've got a full height wardrobe there with storage underneath loads of room and your digital TV aerial in there and then you've got a really good bathroom as well with 
what I always think is a bit back to front this it doesn't really matter but um, for me I would have put the shower at the end um, and the toilet in the middle but Swift have put the toilet at the end and the shower in the middle so the only difference to you the user that that means is that you've got two doors to close this door will come across here this door will come across here to give you a decent size separate shower then you've got your sink and light switches and such like some nice mirroring plenty of storage up there as well so this is her, she is the 2011 Swift Bolero 680 FB. These are really, really popular vans, these. We don't expect this to hang around very long. We're quite lucky to have it, um, particularly in automatic guys. Uh, so 2011 Swift Bolero 680 FB. Just one other little feature as well is down here you can see they've modernised the van and fitted the uh, cup holders out of a 2015 onwards one that basically that would have had an original glove box there but someone's modernized it to fit these cup holders which is a much better idea because you've got two glove boxes over there anyway so 2011 swift bolero 680 fb automatic three litre with an awning a bike rack a reversing camera a tv aerial and a solar panel all in very very good order at highbridge motorhomes devon branch it is with us at devon if you ring in please ask for the devon branch of highbridge or contact us through the highbridge caravans website or if you leave a comment on this YouTube video, if this is where you've seen it, we will come back to you, although it's not live monitored every second of the day. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.